Hello everyone, this is Alexey, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Libra and uh, some other tools to create input files for quantum espresso calculations starting with the uh, CIF or crystallographic information files but not just any CIF file. Um, uh, today we are gonna talk about uh, some problematic ones uh, where you uh, have uh, so-called fractional occupation numbers for the atomic sites. Uh, that happens when you know you uh, have some not perfectly symmetrical uh, systems or when you may have one uh, atomic type substituted by another atomic type. So okay, we, uh, today we're gonna use the tools that we're going to use today are the Vesta uh, visualizer for the uh, condensed matter systems, the um, so-called Atom SK uh, tool that you can find here. This is uh, the website and uh, they, it's actually a very nice um, you know, set of tools. Uh, it's convenient to use, although it's a uh, command line uh, driven. They have very nice tutorials and it's, uh, it comes really handy when, when converting the uh, uh, different uh, types of uh, file formats. Um, but it cannot do some of the things that we uh, need to do and for that part we'll do uh, we'll use this uh, Libra um, package today so okay let's gonna uh, let's start with uh, with something simple so I have this CIF file that kind of you know what you can pretty much uh, pause this video and uh, see uh, the all information um, and um, that's basically one of the cuprate, cuprate uh, systems. So we're gonna open Vesta and I'll, I'm gonna show you how this um, file look, uh, looks like um, when visualized. So we'll drop it here and that's the structure. So as you can see, uh, this is a pretty complex uh, structure, but uh, what you can notice is that some of the atoms uh, have uh, double colors. Uh, that happens when they have uh, fractional occupation numbers. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, they can be like pretty close to each, other, uh, to each other. So this is kind of two like symmetrical equivalent um, positions for these atoms. So like the X-ray can um, uh, decide which one is uh, one should pick. So these two atoms are kind of similar uh, in a similar relationship to each other as these two, but they also have uh, translation uh, along this um, A direction applied. So, okay, that's how the, uh, uh, you know, original input file looks like. So, what uh, what we are going to do is we want to, like, get rid of all this, uh, you know, um, crystal symmetry features and uh, create the regular Vesta file. You can, of course, uh, like, once you have done this, you can um, you can save and export it, uh, but uh, so we want to, um, it will contain all the information on the symmetry, so we want to kind of make a, another clean uh, files and a, a file, and for that, uh, um, for that reason we, we are going to use this Atom SK um, uh, um, program, so um, in, uh, in the location where these uh, tutorial files are, and this is my CIF file, so uh, what we just need to do is to read and we type the file name, see if so we, we read it, uh, input file was uh, read successfully, and remember this is 68 atoms for now, and, and then we do write uh, let's say one uh, Vesta and we we generate one Vesta file um, and it's located here so as you can see this is the, uh, the this is how it looks like inside and you can notice that um, there are 68 atoms uh, and some of the atoms have uh, half uh, occupation 
uh, number so like this are bismuth uh, um, atoms so now what we are going to do we want to uh, make sure that we don't have this such such situation when uh, these two atoms like kind of overlap you know too close to each other and we also don't want to have a situation when uh, the two atoms are regulated by a translation uh, so um, like if you translate this one it should not be coming too close to this one so if that happens we just have to remove one of the atoms and to do this we have this uh, new uh, module in Libra which is called uh, Vesta to QE and we call um, a function uh, parse Vesta well maybe not the best na name for this but uh, that's what it is um, and it takes the input file uh, this Vesta which we already have created and this would be the, our uh, output file for quantum espresso well this will be we will output and generate the input file for quantum espresso but it's going to be the output for this uh, operation and this number here uh, gives the tolerance uh, so it's basically the minimal distance by which two atoms can come uh, to each other so like if you have any two atoms less than 0.7 angstrom apart from each other then we will basically discard one of them so by this we will uh, solve this problem of the uh, kind of occupation numbers and by the way so what we can do to show you what the atom sk, uh, SK um, program has done we will first uh, bring this uh, file to Vesta and see what happens okay so for now uh, it declares the system to have the primitive, the lowest primitive symmetry P1, um, and that's why uh, the Vesta doesn't kind of replicate these atoms to outside of the inner cell. This is pretty convenient for kind of um, getting the idea of, of what is going on in this uh, unit cell but as you can see we still have this overlap and partially occupied um, atomic sites so we'll we will solve this problem by um, our module so by the way this, today i am creating this uh, tutorial and today i just created this uh, module so okay what we just need to do is um, so we will just basically run this uh, script python and then do py so it, it runs this is like a regular and standard thing and it generates this input file here and uh, now as you can see there are like 60 atoms of a five type um, and um, so we basically discarded eight atoms out of original 68 and you can use this uh, entire you know section to um, to um, generate a, well basically use in your quantum espresso calculation so that's uh, pretty much the essence of your input file for that and because it's uh, 60 atoms that kind of um, suggests that we don't have all this uh, problematic overlap in atoms anymore now uh, to kind of check uh, that this is going to be true uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to use this atom SK um, uh, code again um, but at this point I'm going to read uh, what, uh, file one in and it reads it right so and it uh, recognizes 60 atoms um, and what I can do, I can write it again in the Vesta uh, format, but it's going to be uh, number two. So write Vesta, and if we look inside of this file, we see that there are 60 atoms. Uh, all of them are here. Now let's uh, visualize it. So we're going to drop this file here. Again, we have everything in this uh, unit cell, nothing go, goes outside, uh, and uh, we don't have any overlapping atoms anymore, so this is going to be a good structure for to use in, in, uh, in your 
quantum express calculations. Now also notice that uh, you can think that you know some of the atoms are like still overlapping here, uh, but uh, this is actually not true. Well, this is more of the Vesta trick um, to kind of facilitate the uh, visualization. In fact, if you count these uh, atoms um, in in this uh, uh, video uh, in this visualization you'll get more than uh, 60 atoms. So, uh, you know, apparently some of them um, are added on this kind of edges or sides to, you know, kind of facilitate um, and this, uh, per perception of this uh, uh, periodic structure. Okay, so I hope um, that you find this uh, simple script uh, useful. Oops, hopefully now we're not going to erase it. Okay. Uh, and uh, now you will be able to use uh, almost any CIA file uh, to pre prepare a quantum express calculation uh, input file almost uh, instantaneously. So thank you for your attention. And